good afternoon to you, Bertha. A good afternoon indeed. And I bothered by fools at this hour of the day. Why? Bertha, are you angry with me? He asks me if I'm angry with him. Since in heaven has he no memory? What have I done, Bertha? Nothing to tell, nothing. That is the trouble. But if you come to this house again, I will show you the palm of my hand as I'm showing it to you now. Oh. <laughs> Open the door, Bertha. Open the door. I must speak with you. And this is supposed to be a quiet street. You tend to your affairs alone, and I will tend to mine. Bertha! Bertha! I will not have such choices. Do you not realize that this is a Sunday afternoon? Have you no thoughts for decent people who are trying to sleep? Have you no thoughts for me? More than one, and none of them nice. I would call this a lover's quarrel. Would you indeed? I would call this the impertinence of a wicked man. But what have I done? She loved him yesterday, and she'll love him tomorrow. If I love him tomorrow, may I lose the use of my tongue, yes, and my eyes and ears, too. Is it fair, I ask you, for a woman to smile at a man one day and slap his face the next? Is this the manner in which a promised bride should treat her future husband? You could find yourself another bride. <laughs> <laughs> Long nose, sticking it in everyone's business. Is this an insult to me? To me? And who are you to be above insults? I will not stay and listen to such words. Did I ask you to leave the safety of your house? She has not even common politeness. I am going. We shall adore your absence. If this were not Sunday, I would slap your face for you. The great Salome Melina, afraid of a Sunday fine. You can fight each other tomorrow. You <laughs> stay out of this argument, the Delta ran. If you do not leave us, I will never find out why Bertha is angry with me. Go away! Very well. But the day will come when you will be glad of my company. Now, Bertha. As for you, my fine rooster, go and play the bearer to Celestina Garcia. She will appreciate you more than I. So that is what it is. That is all of it, and enough it is. Two times you walked around the plaza with the Celestina, and I, sitting there on a bench, having to watch you. But it was a matter of business. Ha! Give me no such phrases. And all of my friends thinking, poor Berta was such a sweetheart. Do you think I have no pride? But it is that you do not understand. I understand enough to know that all is over between us. Berta, do not say that. I love you. So you say, yet you roll the eye at any passing chicken. Celestina is the daughter of Don Luco Garcia. She can be the daughter of the president of all of When you marry her, she will bring you a fine dowry. And there will be no more need of Fidel Duran trying to carve one indoors. Trying? But I have carved them. Did I not do any repair for the saloon? Hi, little doors. There is an amount to know more than that. Not for you, the great rooms of a church. Why else do you think I'm speaking with the Celestina? What new manner of excuse is this? That is why I came to speak with you. Here, sit down with me for a moment. And does Salome and Tanya say that I am a wicked and a proper girl? Just for one little moment, they will see nothing. <coughs> the words come out of your mouth, then. One, two, three. Perhaps you do not know that the town of Tupo Grande is not very <coughs> from here to building a new church. <laughs> All of the world knows. But did you know that Don Nimco is secretly giving the money to the building of this church? Why? He offered his money to the Blessed Virgin of Topo Grande. If his rooster wanted to cop fight, he did win. So now he's building the church. How did you find out about this? Or has Don Nimco suddenly looked upon you as his son and revealed all his secrets to you? Last night on the plaza, the Celestina happened to mention it. With a bit of flattery, I soon gained the whole story. <laughs> So that is what you were talking about as you walked around the plaza. Must have taken a great deal of flattery to obtain so much knowledge from her. Do you not realize what this means? They'll need someone to carve the new doors. I wonder who Don Nimble will get. Perhaps the Brothers Mendoza. They might choose me. You? Ha! And why not? Am I not the best wood carver in the valley? So you say. It would take three years to carve those doors, and he would pay me every week. There would be enough money to buy you with the stove, and enough left over for a house. Of course not. Does a girl help a man buy a trousseau for another girl? That's why I had to prepare as though I were willing to die. Oh, your success is more than perfect. Today, all the world knows that Celestina has won for his man. But all the world does not know that Fidel Duran, who is I, 
Myself will carve those doors as for I, Chisso, and Alice Roberta, my queen. Precisely. All the world does not know this great thing, and neither do I. Do you know me? Pearl of my life? Does the rabbit doubt the snake? Does the tree doubt the lightning? Do I doubt that you are a teller of tremendous lies? Speak not to me of cleverness. I know what my own eyes see. Last night, I saw you with a Celestina, and so did all the world. So that is how you trust me, your intended husband. I would rather trust a hungry fox. Let me speak plainly, my little dove. Just because we are to be married is no reason for me to enter a monastery. And who says we are to be married? Why, I said it. Am I your doctor, heal that I must obey your every wish? You are my future wife. Am I indeed? Your mother has consented and my father has spoken. The beds have been read in the church. Better to die without children than to be married to such as you. We shall be married within the month. Make this hand not on my arm if I ever sign the marriage contract. Are you saying that you will not marry me? With all my mouth I'm saved. And a good day to you. That good news to the poor knows true of a Celestine. What is the meaning of this noise? Is something wrong? I call you both to witness what I may say. May I drop dead if I ever am seen on the street again. I will go again and I will weather up my life. 